Testing, testing. Is this thing even on? Man, it's gotta be on. The red light's on. That means it's on. Shit. It's not locks here. Man, my name is John Craig, actually. Yeah, what up? John Craig in the building. I'm gonna start referring to myself as John Craig. John. Jonathan Craig. What? Man, my name is Jonathan. Anyways, today's video is about. Um. Who's it about? Let me look. Uh. I don't even know how to pronounce her name to be honest because I just heard of her today for the first time. This girl here is Zendaya. Today's video is about Zendaya. Disney's um, Disney star. She's a Disney star, right? She's from Disney. Uh, and apparently, Juliana Ran Rancic called uh, called her some pretty stereotypical things during the Oscars so uh, stay tuned and you'll see what happened <coughs> <coughs> pardon me there let's actually see what this video is about All right, so apparently nothing happens. But during that part when Zendaya here was posing for her photos, um, Juliana said something saying, I feel like she smells like patchouli oil or weed. And she didn't find that very funny as she's 18 years old and she says that her whole family wears locks. And she said that just because she has locks, I shouldn't smell like weed. Um, so there's that whole marijuana and dreadlock stereotype coming back into play here again. And I wanted to ask you what you guys thought. Well, I mean, we, we already know, truthfully, is that we know that not everybody with dreads smokes weed. Although we do know that a lot of people that have dreadlocks coincidentally smoke marijuana. And it's it's a tough battle because it is a stereotype, but it is also it's like a true stereotype if that makes any sense. Um, but she made a comeback to this uh, to this, and uh, what she said was uh, she said I would really like to address something that's weighing very heavy on my heart. I want to apologize for a comment that I made on last night's Fashion Police about Zendaya's hair. This is coming from Juliana here. Uh, here is Juliana. Something I said last night did not cross the line. Juliana continued without actually quoting herself. I didn't intend to hurt anybody, but I've learned it's not my intent that matters. It's the results. So she didn't intend on saying what she said or meaning it in the, in the way that it came out. But the results of what she said were pretty devastating towards uh so Zendaya wrote, in defense, there's a fine line between what is funny and disrespectful. Someone said something about my hair at the Oscars that left me in awe. Not because I was re relishing in rave outfit reviews, but because I was hit with an ignorant slur and pure disrespect. To say that an 18-year-old young woman with locks must smell of patchouli oil or weed is not only a large stereotype but outrageously offensive. I don't usually feel the need to respond to negative things but certain remarks cannot go unchecked. I'll have you know my father, brother, best childhood friend and little cousins all have locks. Do you want to know what uh, Ava DeVinery, someone else is saying, uh, and she goes on to say, uh, t she starts naming off other people with dreadlocks that are that are, you know, professional black people. They probably don't smoke weed. Is what her point is saying here. Um, oh yeah, she's saying all these people that smell that have locks, but none of which smell of marijuana. There is uh, already harsh criticism of African American hair in society without the help of ignorant people who choose to judge others based on the curl of their hair. The curl of the her. You get me. My wearing my 
my wearing my hair in locks at, on an Oscar red carpet was to showcase them in a positive light to remind people of color that our hair is good enough. To me, locks are a symbol of strength and beauty, almost like a lion's mane. I suggest some people should listen to Indy Ares, I Am Not My Hair. Um, so that's a pretty good defense that she put out for dreads uh, in terms of that. But there is one thing that still kind of um, gets to me about this whole situation is that um, one being that the dreadlocks that she's supporting are not even real to begin with. They're fake. They're full locks. So why is she getting so bent out of shape over this? So she's, they're not even her dreads to begin with. You know, sure, I get it that she's she's defending, um, you know, black people and hair in general, but this falls in that whole Kylie Jenner area uh, about celebrities wearing dreads that are just fake. And she, maybe she got this idea from Kylie Jenner doing it. I don't know. You know, just putting it out there. Now I'm getting a little ramped up about this whole situario, situario, scenario here. Anyways, I'm rambling. You guys better go check out the rest of this video and make sure you stay subscribed. Not locks. I'm here. I'm back. And you know, I got a bunch of herbs that just came in. So you're going to be seeing some uh, strain reviews coming real soon. Holla back. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.